okay so hello everyone welcome back now let us start problem number 5.5 on page number 224 which says that uh, we have a current flows down a wire of radius a so we have a current carrying wire which is in a form of uh, circular loop of radius this is of radius a all right the radius is a so what and the current is here i so we need to find if uh, uniformly distributed over the surface what is the surface current density so k he is saying so as we know that k is equal to i upon dl perpendicular where the length element dl is the length element perpendicular to the surface so it uh, it, it can only be the circumference of the uh, loop so I'll be using uh, d uh, 2 pi a because a is the radius of the loop. So this is the uh, surface current density. Now coming to the next b part, which says that uh, j is the volume current density, which is j, is inversely proportional to the distance. And distance, uh, as he's saying, j is a function of s. That is why I'm using s here, or I'll be using r if it is not given. So it is inversely proportional. So removing the uh, in proportionality sign, we get a constant k. And let us use m here because k is for surface current density. So m is the constant. All right. So what we need to find, we need to find what is uh, j. So to find j, we have s. We need m. All right. So as we know that uh, i is equal to j j d a perpendicular so what is uh, length or oh, area element in, in case of surface uh, pol uh, spherical uh, plane polar coordinates area element in plane polar coordinates is given by r dr d theta all right or you can write d phi here also but uh, as here r is uh, given as s so i'll be writing s ds d theta and integration r oh sorry s s ds into d, d theta where theta is the angle uh, here. All right. this part theta is this angle so uh, integrating and we have a j also i forgot j so putting the value of j m upon s into s ds d theta as we know that uh, theta is from 0 to 2 pi for a full circle let us can, uh, cancel s by s so we get m ds and d theta the limits are 0 to 2 pi for full circle and it is from uh, as radius is a so ds is from 0 to a so m into so i is equal to this so m into a into 2 pi is equal to i so from here we get m is equal to i upon i upon 2 pi a so we got our proportionality constant so putting the value of proportionality constant here in this formula we get i upon 2 pi a into s this is the volume current density we are getting if uh, volume current density is inversely proportional to the distance from the axis. So I hope you understood the uh, question. That's all for this video. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.